Tammy Farm and it is the end of April and we just wanted to give you guys like a quick update about what's happening in the farm right now. So I'm here in the um, one greenhouse with Carla doing some weeding on um, green beans here. And yeah, it is the season of weeds. We need to be keeping on top of them before they get on top of us. So we are just going along with this tool called the diamond hoe. Um, you just kind of shuffle it along the ground like this and it cuts the weeds. Now you can actually see here, there's actually a combination of weeds and volunteer crops here, like these thistles, we take those out. But then this is actually a mustard green here, and this is actually kale here, because they went to seed in the greenhouse last year. Sometimes we can keep these volunteers around, sometimes it doesn't work out so well. So maybe I'll let those guys stay, but most of the rest of them are going to go. Well, let us take a look at what's happening in some of the other greenhouses. So the snow peas are blooming. We've been waiting for this for a long time. We have this nice, beautiful row all in flower, and we've actually got some little tiny snow peas started. So I think the biggest ones are kind of like about that size now. So if you're in the box program, you might start to see some snow peas in your box over the next few weeks. This is the first of our kind of like, you know, it's not, I guess peas aren't really a fruit. I mean, yes, they are a fruiting crop. They are a fruiting crop. So I mean, we're eating this part, which is the fruit and the seeds. So I guess you could say that technically speaking, this is the first of our fruiting crops for the year to get ready. When I say fruiting crops, I usually think like tomatoes, eggplants, that kind of a thing. But these are the real first. We're very much looking forward to these. I know there's not a lot to see here right now, just bare dirt, but this is one of our potato fields this year. We finally got to plant some potatoes on Friday last week. I guess that would have been um, the 22nd or something like that of April. It is so late this year. Normally we would, um, you know, be getting our potatoes in like April 16th and be like, wow, we're really late this year. Nope, this year, April 22nd, we were just barely able to till the soil here. It was just barely dry enough. And we got in the first set of potatoes. We planted the purples, the pinks, and the red ones here. But the field um, for the rest of the potatoes is still actually in a crop that we're not ready to finish yet. And it may or may not be dry enough to till yet. Um, we'll go take a look at that crop in a minute. But um, this year is just so cold, so wet, that a lot of things are going to be delayed. Actually, even our cucumbers too. Um, we haven't been able to plant our second batch of cucumbers yet because the greenhouse where they're going is still too wet. So we'll see what happens this year, but hopefully the potatoes are going to do well. So if you're in our box program, you've probably recently had kakina in your box. Um, kakina is these kind of broccolette type shoots with the long stem and a few leaves and a little floret on top. And there's still some pretty good ones in this crop, like this one here, that's looking pretty nice. But um, toward the end of the crop, they start to actually get quite thin and um, we can certainly eat them, but they just get harder and harder to, to harvest and sell. Basically, the way these plants grow is we actually um, sow the seeds back last summer and then transplant them to the field kind of like August or at latest early September. They grow, they overwinter, and then in the spring what happens is they um, actually put up their initial flower shoot, which we pick, and then they make more side shoots, which we also pick, and then there comes more side shoots, and they're progressively thinner and thinner and thinner. So you can kind of see by the time we get now to April, we're getting down to these really thin guys, and if you look down the row, you can see a lot of them are actually going to flower now too, which is really beautiful, but that means they're kind of past the time when they're going to be good for harvest. So this crop is really getting toward the end of its life. We're still trying to harvest as much as we can from them though, because like I was saying earlier, it's a really cold, wet spring. We've been super delayed on planting all kinds of things. The new kale went in late, the new chard went in late. Um, a lot of things like cucumbers are going in late, as I said. And um, so we really need to make the most of the crops we do have right now. Now, there's always a little bit of a challenge because we also have another crop that's supposed to go in this field. Like I was saying earlier at the potato field, um, this field is actually supposed to become potatoes. Later today, I'm hoping to go through and check the soil to see whether it's tillable or not. Um, we'll just be kind of doing this balancing act to see when can we finish these guys, when can we till the soil, when can we get the potatoes in. Maybe we'll just have to find another place for the potatoes. I'm not sure. In the meantime, we're just kind of playing this juggling game. 
So I keep on saying how wet and cold everything is, but um, in the greenhouse it is still nice and warm when the sun's shining and the zucchinis are flowering. It's really hard to say if these young fruits will actually come to anything. Sometimes the early ones don't get pollinated properly and they don't really come to fruition. But there's flowers, things are happening, and so hopefully before long we just might have some zucchinis. So I was saying earlier how our second batch of cucumbers has been delayed because of the wet weather, but our first, our, our, our first, our first small batch did get in. These are, these are the, uh, the first batch of cucumbers right here. They are still very small. Um, we sowed these back in March, um, transplanted um, earlier this month. And you know, it's gonna be a while. I can see a few little teeny, teeny, tiny buds there that look like they could become flowers later. That being said, we don't always let them flower when they're too small. So we'll wait till they get like about this tall. Then we'll put, they'll trellis them with some strings from the pole up there. And um, you know, once they're high enough, then they can start to make fruits from their higher branches. But at least there's cucumbers. They're in progress, things are happening. So hopefully, hopefully summer will see us with cucumbers for the box program. Thanks so much for watching again. This has just been a super quick update. We'll try to do another one next month. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to weeding.